Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Welcome back to Jim O'Rear's Wacky World. Halloween is over. Man. But uh, the next season approaches and, you know, not that it's creepy at all. You know, a guy that sneaks into your house through the chimney and eats your cookies and it's still a creepy holiday. Anyway, <laughs> we are going to go check out uh, some new Christmas decorations for this year. And our first stop this season is Lowe's. Lowe's Home Improvement usually has some uh, some interesting holiday decor. And this year it's no different. So take a look. It's that time of the year when we start checking out new Christmas decorations. And look at this cute little animated Mickey. I wish they had him turned on. This is at Lowe's. And I was immediately drawn to this guy right here, one of my favorite Christmas characters ever. Now he's, I, I think he may be animated. I'm not sure. But if you look right up here underneath there, uh, underneath the uh, neck, you can see a little system right there that looks like it's connected to his mouth that possibly animates his mouth. I was able to get him to make some noise. <laughs> I'm assuming that his mouth is supposed to move too. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to go back and, and try it closer to Christmas. Now, they've got a lot of inflatables. There's a Whoville Arch. I love this Deercraft carrier. Very, very cute. <laughs> There's the Grinch. There's the North Pole ski excursions. I love Santa in the hammock between the palm trees. Tons of and tons and tons of inflatables this year. Here's the little animal section from donkeys to cats to dogs, pigs. There's some Santas and snowmen and dinosaurs. Uh, Christmas trees. Here's some Disney stuff. There's Eeyore. I love Angry Donald. So cute. Little five and a half foot tall Donald. There's Mickey. Then we get into some larger ones with the Grinch. Some more Santas. A military Santa. Snoopy. Some Grinch stuff. The Trolls. There's Peppa Pig. Minions. Spongebob. Bluey. Uh, going down here, even larger. Some Mickeys. An animated penguin in a box. Some more pe uh, peanuts. There's a nativity scene. A giant snowman head. And a uh, kangaroo. Christmas tree. And uh, right down here, here's that uh, Whoville arch in a box. Shows you kind of how big it is there compared to a house. Uh, Snoopy in his car. Lots and lots of inflatables to choose from. And all kinds of outdoor Christmas decor, really. Um, I mean, I love how many of the different Santas they have and the different nutcrackers. You know, they have an African-American version, a, a Caucasian version. Um and I think that's uh, that's fun, uh, and, and these there's some really pretty stuff there this year. I love that Noel sign, and uh, you know these are your typical uh, wire framed type yard decorations that you sort of pin down in the yard, and they've got lights inside of them and and light up some really pretty sparkly stuff this year, and uh, they have uh, more that are uh, online that they don't carry in the stores. They have some little signs up next to the things that you can see variations of, uh, of other decorations. Here's a little more Disney stuff. Love that car. There's an animated Mickey Santa in a chimney. Kind of goes up and down there. Uh, Eeyore, oh bother. And uh, right down here, some Nutcracker Mickey. There's a cute little mini. And I found that they have uh, Disney stuff here that's cuter than what Disney World actually has on property this year. I, uh, I'm finding that the Lowe's Disney stuff is much cuter. Look at these little little blow molds. I love them. I love them. Um, here's a, another Donald. This is a, a more happy Donald. I like that angry Donald better, but this is a different type of yard sculpture and there's some larger blow molds that are disney related moving towards more of a neon look there are deer and santa clauses and some nutcracker tin soldiers 
snowman. I love that neon look. Pretty cool. Here's some more of the wire framed type decorations with the nutcrackers and the elves on a box. This here is actually a um, an arch that is perfect for outside. It's that wire frame, uh, covered wire frame stuff again, and a uh, another large nutcracker. There's a wide assortment of lights, and I did not photograph all the lights because there are tons of them in all sorts of different types and, you know, yard stake lights and things like that. Now, Lowe's always has an assortment of plushy Christmas characters, but my favorite I found was this, the the Christmas Story plushy, and he dances and walks around. I'm not a huge Christmas Story fan, but I do love this with little feet that move, and he walks and dances and plays music, so <laughs> I don't know why I was just drawn to that and fascinated by it. Uh, here's some more of that uh, that wire um, that wire outdoor type of decor with the lights inside of the the wire framing. Lots of that this year, and a lot of really cute stuff. I like that alligator, perfect for for Florida. And then here's some kind of pretty traditional type looking things that uh, you know if you're more of a traditionalist and want to stay away from the gaudy lights and you know blow ups and things like that perfect um, here's a sort of a mixture of classic and uh, more blow molds cute little elf and bear and I love these little uh, tiny Santas down here I wish they were bigger but they, those are super cute I love those blow mold Santas. I, uh, that was one of my favorite decorations when I was a kid was a little blow mold Santa. If you're into Christmas villages, man, do they have a lot of pieces and all sorts of things. I mean, it, look, there's like a it's like carnival rides and roller coasters and, you know, the ice cream shops. Uh, amazing. And, and they play music and light up. And as you can see, some are animated and move around. If uh, if I had the room for a Christmas village, I would um, I would probably have some of this. I had some old school uh, Dickens Village pieces that I used to put out, but just uh, you know, took up too much room and <laughs> ran out of room because I would keep adding and adding and adding, and I'd love the the Halloween Christmas villages that they have also. So I you know, no room for that, but. Uh, but Lowe's has a ton of Christmas Village pieces this year. There you go. That is a look at what is new for 2024 Christmas holiday season at Lowe's Home Improvement. Some really cute stuff. I like it. If I was a Christmas decor decorating kind of guy, I'd be getting some of that stuff. So... I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.